is a big day for us. Sassy Sisters. CSK Book Club, Philadelphia. California. North Carolina. The first year we did it, we had a few book clubs in our living room. Baker's, the Baker's does. The Valley Girls. The World Reading Teachers. We're from Wisconsin. And we are the Sunday Night Book Club. But I am so glad you're here. We will entertain you. We'll talk a little, then we'll talk some more. You're welcome. Aww. You're adorable. It's so exciting anytime to have meet people who have actually read any book you write. This is our 12th year doing the book club party and now it has grown to 500 people on Saturday, 500 people on Sunday. This is a highlight of our year. It's like E! True Hollywood Story, behind the scenes of the book. Our book club could not decide if there was one perfect lie or one perfect lie for every family. Oh. I like that. I know. I can't either. <laughs> We have a big book club party for people who have read my book in the spring. This year it was One Perfect Live. I love that though with books where like there isn't an answer even if you could ask the author or even if she had an answer like oh no I meant the Walt Betty's Law. I love that what readers bring to it. I'm so excited to talk about the books that I write with my mom which are these essay collections. They're true stories, nonfiction about our life. Finally she gives in. She goes, all right, you, you know, maybe it's a good idea for you to drive because I feel like I can't see. <laughs> Like, this makes a lot of sense. She clarifies, she goes, oh, no, no, no. I, I, it's just, I feel like at 65, I can't see, but at 45, it's okay. <laughs> Look, you're gonna go upstairs in your house tonight, right? You're gonna go to bedroom, it's gonna be dark. You're not gonna see a dark room and run in. You're gonna walk in, slowly. Because if you go slow, you can see. But if you go fast, who does that? No one does that. They understand what I'm talking about. Those are the kinds of stories that we write in the books that we write together. Uh, the last of which was, I need a lifeguard everywhere but the pool. <laughs> the next summers will be, I see life through rosé colored glasses. <laughs> Who doesn't love rosé? She thought of the title. She does all the titles. Yeah, there are books that will make you laugh and still, you know, spur some discussion and memories and thoughts you can talk about with your book club. This is a surprise to Francesca. We actually have news in this regard because Francesca, I'm going to say this, um, Francesca has been working for a couple of years on a book of her own, a novel. These books are bestsellers, but she has written a novel and just last two weeks ago found out that it is going to be published. I'm so grateful and excited to share this incredible news for me. I have been working on a novel for over seven years. The title is called Ghosts of Harvard. Yeah. It's a little, it's gonna be a little bit different from the kind of stuff that you've read from me so far, but just like my mom, you know, writes these dark and twisty thrillers and then also, you know, these funny stories, there are still those common threads of, for me, it is family. And this story is about a young woman who is really struggling in the aftermath of her older brother's suicide. And while she's t trying to come to terms with this unfathomable decision that her brother made and the way it's changing her life, she fears she might be losing her grip on reality herself. It's something I put so much heart and soul into and I'm just so thrilled to be able to share it with our readers. I am doing three books a year. I write the standalone that comes out every April, which you saw after Anna is coming out in April. It's like all of my standalone books. It combines crime and family. The headline is this, and after Anna, this woman has lost her child through postpartum psychosis, and it's the heartbreak of her life. She tried to get her back, but her evil ex-husband, which I can earn until the cows come home also, <laughs> kind of outflanked her and took the kid out of the country, and she can't get the kid back, and then one day the kid calls when the kid's 17. The kid calls her, I wanna, can I meet you? Can I come to know you? And that, she, her beautiful life, she's so excited, and then the world falls apart. And there's twists and turns and mysteries and just like you don't even know it's coming. Then in July, we do, as Francesca said, it's I See Life Through Rosé Colored Glasses, which is a great title. That'll be out in July. We'll tour for that. And then in August, where'd you go? Uh, the Rosado series comes out. So I've kind of rebooted that. Thank you. I appreciate that. So that comes with like accused, betrayed, corrupted. Do you see the alphabetical? <laughs> It has to be real unvarnished, oh my God, did she say that? True. In the book, for people to connect with it, 
and understand and get to know themselves better and then get to know each other better, right? God bless you all for being in book club so long. Don't you feel closer? And you're brought together by what? Not a gym, folks. A book.